Deck the halls with bogs of holly, fa la 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 la, la 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 la. Tis the season to be jolly, fa la 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 la, la 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 la. Oops, you guys are already here. Isn't this the most wonderful time of the year? Hello everybody, this is Iron Edwin, crochet tutor and fiber artist, speaking to you all from Ganga Akrovul's channel. There is so much of vibe in the air, bells ringing, all singing, cupid dinging, smells like holiday season ahead, which means a perfect time to start a new craft. And I have something amazing in store for you. Today keeping crochet aside, I thought we will learn yet another interesting fiber art that is spread across the globe and is very popular. Before knowing what it is, if you are watching this video for the first time, please do subscribe to our channel and also please don't forget to press the bell icon so that you will be notified with our new videos. And people who would love to watch this video in quiet mode, I hope you guys are aware of the subtitles button that is available on the YouTube videos where the captions appear on the bottom of the video. Adding to that, if you are inspired by these videos and when you make something amazing out of these yarns and patterns, please do post it on social media with the hashtag YTGanga and we would love to see your creations. They say in the rhythm of needles is the music for the soul. I have my needles here and the music is none other than knitting. Are you interested in learning knitting? If so, you have landed on the right place. And continental knitting is very beginner friendly knitting method which works up pretty quick and easy to learn if you are already a crocheter. Continue watching this video as I have padded with a very distinctive, exclusive and one of a kind yarn from Heartbeats. Shall we ask Secret Santa to give me this magical yarn? Santa, Santa please, please give, give me, me the, the magical, magical yarn. yarn! Wow! That was seriously very quick. Honestly, just as I said, these are very unique and peculiar kind of yarns called the Rick Rack from Heartbeats. These are not braided yarns, rather they are chained yarns which uses a special technology from Italy. They are voluminous yet lightweight yarns which is a perfect blend of acrylic and wool suitable for blankets, scarves, headbands and lot of interesting things. Each ball is 100 grams with a yardage of 50 meters and comes in some amazing shades as well. This wool blended chain it yarn falls into a size 6 super bulky category of yarn. Well, now I know what's on your mind. Iron, enough of yapping. Let's start continental knitting. Seriously speaking, it's been years together since I did my last knit project or held the knitting needle. I guess it's alright to be a bit sedate. Well, nothing wrong in learning the absolute basics. Okay, chalo chalo, let's get our hands on this chain beauty. Without any further delay, let's start with our knitting project. So, I have chosen a rick rack yarn with the shade number R1R003 and the tools are a knitting needle of size 9mm, a yarn cutter, a tapestry needle, and a crochet hook in case of any knitting emergencies. The first step in knitting project is called the cast on. So let's start making the cast on by making a slip knot. So you all know how to make a slip knot. You can make it in your most convenient way. After making a slip knot, you are going to hold the working yarn with your four fingers. Wrap the thumb finger around the working yarn, insert your knitting needle inside the loop and slowly remove your thumb finger out of the working yarn. Let's do one more time. Hold the working yarn with your four fingers, wrap your thumb finger around the working yarn, insert your knitting needle and slowly release your thumb finger out of the loop. Wrap it around, insert your knitting needle and slowly remove your thumb finger. So we have got 10 loops and that's the last loop that I am making. Wrap it around your thumb finger and slowly release your thumb finger out of the loop. So we have made 10 cast on loops and this is how it will look. 
now let's start with the knit stitch since this is continental knitting i'm holding the working yarn on my non-dominant hand now let's insert the knitting needle inside the first loop wrap it around the working yarn bring it to the front and push the loop down now again insert your knitting needle wrap it around the working yarn scoop it to the front and push the loop down let's do it one more time insert your knitting needle wrap it around the working yarn scoop it to the front and push it down insert wrap it around the working yarn scoop it to the front and push it down now again insert wrap it around scoop it to the front push it down insert wrap it around scoop it to the front and push it down so now we have completed the row one of knit stitches you can easily identify a knit stitch by the weaves so row one of knit stitch is complete if you wish to continue you can flip the needle and again we can start from the beginning so insert your needle in the first loop from front to back wrap it around your working yarn scoop it to the front and push it down again insert your needle front to back wrap it around the working yarn scoop it to the front and push it down continue making these to how many ever rows you wish to make i have made four to five rows of knit stitch now let's see how to make a bind off bind off is nothing but finishing off a knitting project for that we can also use a knitting needle but today i'm going to use a crochet hook which is much more simpler so insert your crochet hook into the first loop wrap it around the working yarn bring it to the front and push the loop down so the first loop is done now again insert into the next loop wrap it around the working yarn bring it to the front and push the loop down now just like slip stitch we are going to pull the first loop into the second loop so that is our first bind off now again let's insert the crochet hook into the next loop wrap it around the working yarn bring it to the front push it down now let's make a slip stitch bring the first loop to the second loop now do the same thing until the end of the row for the last loop insert your crochet hook bring the working yarn out you will have two loops on your hook and make a slip stitch so that's how we make a bind off to finish a project now let's take a cutter leave two, two to three inches gap and cut the work you can use any crochet hook size depending upon the size of the yarn so our first knit work is complete now let's see how to make a purl stitch for a continental purl stitch always make sure the working yarn is in front of the knitting needle now insert the knitting needle from back to front wrap it around scoop it behind and push it down Insert the knitting needle from back to front, wrap it around, scoop it behind and push it down. Insert from back to front, wrap it around, scoop it behind and push it down. Now again, insert from back to front, wrap it around, scoop it behind and push it down. From back to front, wrap it around, scoop it behind and push it down. Just continue making the same way. And for the last loop, insert your knitting needle from back to front, wrap it around, scoop it behind and push it down. So the first row of purl stitches are done. You can see that the purl stitch are denoted by the bars where the knit stitch will have the V's. If you wish to continue, just flip it around and continue making just like how we did in row 1. In row 2, make sure the working yarn is in the front. Insert your knitting needle from back to front. Wrap it around, scoop it behind and push it down. Insert your knitting needle from back to front. Wrap it around, scoop it behind and push it down. Insert from back to front. Wrap it around, scoop it behind and push it down. Now continue making till the end of the row. Now for the last loop, insert from back to front. Scoop it behind and push it down. We have completed two rows of purl stitches continue making for how many ever rows you want to make here are a few samples that i've already made this is a mixture of knit and purl stitch so one row of knit stitches another row of purl stitch will give you this effect and this is called a stock knit knitting you can see the front and back of this pattern similarly i have also made another pattern where you knit one purl one knit one purl one in the same row 
and this will give you this ribbing effect. So work on these patterns this holiday season and let me know how you enjoyed working on this. Wasn't that the best hobby you can pick up for this holiday season? And continental knitting is much easier to learn when you work with Rick Rack yarns. I really wish you all give this a try this holiday season. Well, I have received my Christmas gift from Santa and I guess now you all know what to ask for. With that happy note, I will sign off for now and meet you all on my next video with a new yarn and pattern. Wishing you all a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays from Ganga Acro Worlds.